Hello and welcome to yet another Minecraft video on the PlayStation 3. This is episode 4 which is kind of a bonus video really because this is made up of sort of clips that were recorded in small sort of segments for some reason. Um, I sort of rec finished recording uh, the, the, the last episode, obviously episode 3, and for some reason I, I, I left it running. Uh, I just left it recording, I should say. And, uh, well, I should say that I stopped recording and then I, th I started it recording to to just leave it running to see what happened and if anything interesting happened, well... It happened, <laughs> such as, uh, as you may be able to see there, I'm on a different place on the map. Uh, the place that I am kind of looking over to is the other village. That was the original village where I'd moved into, pretty much. Uh, the place I'm at now is another village that, for some reason, just contains two buildings. Uh, you've got uh, just like the, the church tower building and well just another building a house a town hall or whatever you want to call it um, and so yeah I thought right I'll, I'll just uh, I'll leave it as is well sort of as is I've had to cut little bits out and stuff because uh, the little bits where the well there was one segment at, that went at the beginning it was about six minutes or so but it was just completely messed up and basically couldn't be repaired or anything so um, I had to cut that out but you didn't miss anything it was just me basically killing a couple of pigs and a couple of sheep <laughs> That's it, really. It was nothing that important, and and in a way, there's nothing too important in this video, except just as you can see, I'm, I'm just going through uh, like the inventory and the, the craft, the, the crafting sort of side of things, just going through and uh, seeing what there is all together. You know, taking a little bit of time to get a bit familiarised with it, uh, because before. I was kind of just going into it and just playing the game uh, because of recording it and obviously you don't want to see me do all this kind of thing so that's what I thought and yeah it's early on in in this series and so I'll, you know I'll just take this little time out to uh, to put these segments together and, and make a kind of general video. I mean, uh, this one, I guess you could sort of say, is kind of like a segue into the next video sort of thing. Uh, because, um, things I do in this video, obviously, will, uh, still sort of I guess be in effect in the next video so uh, but saying that I don't really do a lot um, like I say I'm in the other well in the other village I think there's only one other village uh, I haven't well as you may have seen on the map I haven't actually been many places yet. Uh, I do sort of discover and uncover more of the for now. Uh, it sort of baffled me a little bit because I, I thought, well hang on a minute, I've gone from this part over to this part, yet you've kind of like kept the, the areas separate. Uh, how about filling in that bit in the middle? Um, so, yeah, that was a bit strange, yeah, so, 
But there we go, as you can see down there, there's uh, the well. Now I'm at the top of the, uh, I'm guessing what is it, the, the church or the steeple or whatever. Um, the, these are the villages. Those are the only two. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, those are the only two uh, villages in this really minimal village. The way that it seems like there's a, quite a bit of a dip there, I'm not sure if that's intentional or it's where a creeper has exploded. Because basically when, uh, when uh, and where a creeper explodes, it can take out a big chunk of land. So, uh, maybe that's what's happened, I don't know, I mean it, it goes pretty deep, there's actually a bit of water down there, so, uh, not down there, that's the well, I'm, uh, the bit to the right just, there was uh, like a little square of water, so it comes down pretty deep. Um, and so, yeah, I uh, decided to go on a bit of an adventure, like I say, uh, have a bit of a walk around, see what's uh, around the map. Uh, I mean, obviously, you don't want to stay out too long. Um, because, basically, you stay out too long, you get monsters, you... The spiders are just such a pain in their backside, really. I mean, they just come straight at you, now messing and whatever. Uh, so, yeah, that, that was, those are probably the things I detest the most. Uh, as you can see there, I've got a, another trophy, the cow tipper trophy. That's because I killed that cow and it gave me leather. So whenever you get leather from a cow, you get the cow tipper achievement. Um, now what I'm doing at the moment, uh, th th as you can probably tell, I'm sort of narrating this. That this is like narrating over the top of pre-existing pre video. It's because, like I said, this was video that I kind of um, recorded, but didn't know exactly why it recorded, as I say, in different segments and each segment seems to last around three minutes kind of strange <laughs> why it did that i don't know uh, it kind of went on for about 50 minutes and i because I, I took out that first chunk of about six minutes i've cut out bits uh like from uh the video <laughs> uh, other bits of video and you're left with whatever it is i've got left which is around, I'm not sure, is that 39-ish minutes or so? So anyway, uh, this part, uh, I jumped up this tray in an attempt to uh, take a screenshot for the thingamajig, uh, for the thumbnail of the video, which is what I do. I, I think, right, well, what's this video about? And because this video is pretty much about, well, discovering another village, that was why. Oh, oh excuse me, oh, bit of a yawn there. I hope I'm not boring you too much while I'm explaining what's going on here. I'm not boring myself, it's just uh, it's a bit late at night, I am a little bit tired. Anyway. Enough of that story, you don't want to be all about that. What I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll find a place, i find a, a, how can I put it, a situation or whatever, where I can snap a screenshot and use that as the thumbnail. And basically because this is just a, a general type uh, thing, um, that's why the the thumbnail will be just that of the village, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's why I've uh, dropped the opacity of the 
the, the hood there right the way down to zero so that you've got pretty much a clean screen I think you can even hide uh, Steve's arm if you know what I mean so that you can only see sort of as if you've got your hands by your side if you know what I mean you can just see what you can see out of your eyes if you know what I mean uh, but no, I don't really go to that length, you know. Um, but yeah, as you can see there, that's that's the village. It's just that one, but for some reason, those are the two main buildings you get in any village in Minecraft. You get that tall grey one which is kind of like a church and that's why the villager in purple is known as the priest you pretty much get one of those in every village in minecraft if you're thinking yeah i know this the reason i'm explaining this is for people who don't know basically so rather than try to be a smart ass and say yeah i know god you're boring i'm flicking off well, that's up to you. I'm, I like to explain things to people who don't know and basically would like to know about these things. I mean, some people may have just played uh, the, the classic Minecraft where you don't get all this kind of stuff, uh, like, such as on the, the website, um, on the Minecraft website, you can play a classic version of this it's, it's kind of like a demo version where you don't get everything if you know what I mean. Uh, or there may be some people that don't play this way in, in the sense of you know a lot of people might just play on the peaceful setting and in the peaceful setting you don't I don't think you get as much well you don't get monsters for a start monsters in the sense of Creepers, zombies, spiders, and whatever. Um, so yeah, that, that's why I, I like to try and explain things, make these videos a little bit informative, as as well as you know, that bit entertaining or whatever. Um, and well, what I'm doing here is I'm putting the interface opacity back up to. Do I just go to 50%? Hang on, there's 50%, that's it, yeah. Because really, that's all you kind of need, so that it's not too... sort of in your face on the screen, if you know what I mean. That's the problem. I mean, with PC Minecraft, you've got the... Uh, your sort of inventory bar right at the bottom of the screen, because you haven't got all the little bits at the bottom there you've got crafting inventory and every now and then you'll see mine pop up uh, which obviously that will pop up when you come to something that you can mine as in uh, go up to a tree and it will say mine or in other words punch the tree to get the wood if you know what I mean so so uh, there, yeah, there's the map. Uh, I managed to fill in that gap between uh, those circles, like that, where that village is, and and whatever. And I've just I noticed there's a white dot on the very left part of the map. There, there's a little white dot. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but what I do want to do, uh, which I will do in the next video, is uh, I want to basically uncover more of the map, especially on the left side. Uh, this video, as you can see where I'm walking, I'm uncovering mostly the right side of the map. And it seems that most of the right side of the map is all kind of snowy. And covered in snow, basically. Uh, there's a, a little floating bit there for some reason, which is a bit strange. Um, uh, the one thing 
uh, that, that surprised me, especially, was uh, when I decided to start playing the PC version sort of semi-properly, if you know what I mean. I, I, I gave it a go, because basically with the console version, uh, you you can play in peaceful mode, you can kind of play it in any way you want, say, similar to, you know, the PC version. But what I decided to do with the PC version is the same thing as I'm playing on the console version, which is the survival mode, just in easy mode, because I don't want to, like, you know, make it too difficult and get too frustrated, you know, if I keep being killed or stupid stuff keeps happening, I think ah, it, it's, it sort of spoils the fun and spoils my enjoyment and I would, I would think it would spoil any uh, people who are watching it you know, I think it would spoil their enjoyment I've seen somebody keep being killed by things, you know, I mean it's not that much fun for me playing it it wouldn't be much fun for anybody else playing to keep being killed, I don't think, it's not something that, you know <laughs> you kind of enjoy doing, is it really? Playing a game, being killed over and over. So, uh, so yeah, that's why uh, I, I was surprised at the sort of things that spawn in the world when you create a new map. Oh, suddenly snow! Uh, because. I hadn't played for a while and because of the game update and I think it had made my old world incompatible or some or something. Or or if I remember it kind of went a bit funny anyway. It, you know, it uh, because of not playing it for so long or I think the fellow got corrupt or something and it wouldn't load properly anyway. So what I did I started a new world and you know i'll tell you what it, it's worth doing even if you're playing a, a, a game net i'll tell you what it, it's worth creating a new world you don't need to to actually play just stick it in peaceful mode walk around that map travel around that map discovering all kinds of things and whatever in it and you uh, and this is especially like I say the PC version, you'll be very surprised really what you find. Because I was quite surprised when I created my new world and there was stuff in it that I hadn't seen before. And I thought, wow, this is new. <laughs> I mean, it is me who I've had the game since Alpha days. And. I was still discovering new stuff. I mean, okay, yes, yeah, there's, there's, there's always new stuff because they're always updating it and adding new stuff to it and blah blah blah. But what I mean by new stuff, because I hadn't played the game to such an extent before, I was finding new stuff that basically I hadn't seen and literally hadn't seen, you know. So it was. A whole new experience. Uh, plus, there are things you can set before you create the new world. You can like fiddle about with the settings of like what you want uh, in the new world that you're going to create. And so, uh, yeah. Anyway, back to the game. Yeah, as you can see, there's some skeletons there. That was a bit of a pain. There, there seemed to be quite a few of those around. Uh, I mean, there's another one. I think that's probably like the fourth one that I encountered in just that little space, that little like, area. And it's a good thing that I've managed to keep nine pieces of food so that some energy could recuperate. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have died there. And that would have been very nice because I've managed to get up to a level seven. Which means I've lasted pretty well, pretty well so far. Uh, all thanks to crafting an iron uh, sword. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't really carry on with just using uh, the iron uh, pick. 
wall. But pickaxe. Yeah. You, you couldn't keep using that because. Well, for one, it's like, oh, and they'll sheep. Oh my god, they spook me. You know, you, you, such as just as I went to walk out the house. And that sheep is there. You know, you're like, oh my god, where did you come from? Jesus. Um, anyway, with the axes, they're not really weapons anyway. They're only for mining. Obviously. Um, it's obviously you use axes mainly for mining, and if you can, is to craft a sword because they're more effective. Obviously, when you get into a fight with a monster, and when I say a monster, that could be like a zombie. Those are like the, I guess, more common monster. Uh, you got the creepers, they're obviously another one of the more common ones, but uh, as you as you may have seen if you're watching this, there are quite a few skeletons as well. And the thing I thought was a bit poor with the skeletons, they may drop a few bones, but they also, they also don't drop much else. I thought they would have dropped a bow, but no. All I've got from them are bones and arrows. Uh, bones and arrows were not really that good for me. Um, because that's, that means I still need to create uh, craft a bow. So... Uh, so there we go. Um, Alright, anyway, what am I doing in game here? I'm in the inventory again. Uh, what is it called? I think I was kind of like just checking at what I've got and... I think I was looking if I could craft it down. Um, I, don't, I don't think I have enough at the time, all I needed a stick. And I was also, the, the thing that <laughs> was sort of bugging me in my mind was that I'd rather craft an axe because crafting an axe obviously helps with chopping down trees to get wood. Also, I needed to uh, craft a spade so that I could dig quicker. It, oh my god. That was the thing that I had never done before was uh, craft a spade. And so the one time in the, the PC version, as I say, I, I thought, right, I'm going to craft a spade and see just how effective it is. Oh my god! It is so, so much better for digging out dirt. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it was just like and you were through, you know what I mean? If if you'd got to dig through like fifty blocks of dirt, you would do it with a shovel, no problem. Because <laughs> it was just so unbelievably quick. You know, and I'm like, I did not do this before. You know, you, you, you ask yourself, why didn't I do this before? Because I always just thought, it's only dirt. I can just use my hands, or if need be, the pickaxe. That's no problem. Cook, 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 cook. You know, you've got, you've got some dirt. Little did I know that the spade is so much more effective than the pickaxe or just using your hands. I was just amazed. <laughs> I mean, I was completely amazed. I tell you, quick. Um, you could dig dirt out with. Uh, and to an next, well, not so much cobblestone. You kind of can dig cobblestone, but you kind of need to mine that more. That's that, you need to pick up more really for 
for, for even cobblestone. I don't mean, you know, so, the solid grey stone what you mine in the mines to get cobblestone. I mean actually mining cobblestone which then turns into gravel. And then with gravel, well you can use a spade with that stuff because... Man, that shit's so weak, man! So, uh... Right, uh, there we go, I earned a trophy hot topic for create, for crafting uh, the furnace. And, hello Mr. Spider, what are you doing out there? It's raining. I'm nice and dry inside. <laughs> um, but as you can see there, I've set up a little, uh, a little base, you can say, um, where... I've got a chest to keep stuff in, uh, a crafting table to, to craft stuff, and it, it literally is nothing to craft a crafting table. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's literally nothing, I think you need, or is it something like four, four blocks uh, of wood. You know what I mean? So, to start from basics, it's really nothing. You know, you go up to a tree, you start punching it to get the wood. Uh, out of that wood, you can create a crafting table. And with that crafting table, you can pretty much create anything. And pretty much everything that is craftable in the game. <laughs> so once you've sort of punched the wood, you've got your crafting table. Next thing is to get more wood, turn that into planks and sticks, and you are just so well away. In fact, you can even use the wood in a furnace, but then in a way by the time uh, you're, you're mining for coal you know to to create things with fire uh, you've pretty much kind of got a, um, a, a decent pickaxe anyway mind just saying that when you think about it I mean you would start off with just like wooden equipment such as a wooden pickaxe because uh, oh, excuse me sorry yawning again <laughs> ah spider kill it um, so I think that's what makes this game just so appealing and just so brilliant for how simple it is it's just well, amazing basically the way that you can literally like start from nothing being able to create uh, wooden tools and stuff to start with using those wooden tools to be able to uh, go into caves and mines uh, to dig out other resources such as coal and iron then using, uh, 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 well, iron ore, and using that coal in a furnace to smelt the iron ore into iron ingots, and then using those iron ingots to create iron tools, which in turn are going to be able to um, mine better stuff. It's just, you know, it really is quite an amazing game. You can see why it's got such a, you know, a phenomenal following and it's so popular. I mean, when you sort of think about it in such ways, it's... Uh, it really is quite amazing there, mate. So... <laughs> Anyway, enough of this waffling and uh, stuff. 
Now you can see there I've just got a silver trophy for acquiring hardware. Uh, that was because um, of using coal to get the iron in it. One thing you'll find that you need, and what you need to do, you really need to get the tools pretty quickly, so that you can get as much iron as possible. I mean, that's, that's one tip that I will give is, get as much iron as possible at the beginning. For one, uh, you can make iron armor and iron armor is quite tough the only thing in a way that's better than iron armor is diamond armor not even gold armor gold armor is pretty much only as effective as iron armor so you know rather than sort of wait until you've mined gold to make gold armor you might as well just make iron armor because it's just as effective you know so get as much iron as you can to get your pr i think you need oh let me think you need four iron ingots to make iron boots um you need one Two, three, four. You need five, I think it is, to make the iron helmet. Um, I think you need about eight to make the iron chest plate, and then you need two. Uh, was it three, four, five? Oh, I think it's about seven or so to make the iron trousers. So. In total, that's what, 1,500, about, tw about 22, about 22 pieces of armour, or 22 pieces of armour, 22 pieces of iron or so, to create a full set of armour, uh, which, as I say, is only as effective as gold armour, so don't hold out, just create iron armour, it's just as effective. Um, as the gold armor, you can make gold armor later on if you uh, if you find some gold. You know, if, obviously you'll need the same amount of gold to uh, to be able to create gold armor. You'll need, as I say, the the, the, the seven pieces also to make the trousers, the four to make the boots. You know, blah blah, etc. etc. Um, the best armor is the diamond armor that's it the, the, well i'll say that's it you can enchant armor uh if you you know so that you can uh make like make it more effective against uh, different things there is another place this is the cave that I wanted to come back and I basically want to uh, discover more of because well as you can see here there's something here this is where the um, the zombies were spawning from who were attacking the village I mean if I'd have discovered this earlier maybe they wouldn't have wiped out all the villagers from the village uh, because in that village there's nobody left there's just me um, <laughs> so uh, and I don't think they will respawn that's a bit of a bummer so uh, non respawning villagers basically means the village is empty and so that's why I'm going to try and move on into the other village where there's those other two villagers try and build that up a bit try and get more villagers in there and basically move my base to there 
if you, if you know what I mean. Uh, I'll go and make a stupid newbie mistake by just covering that spawner with uh, dirt bricks. I'm like, yeah, that's going to stop them, isn't it? But then we're going to find some decent loot in these chests. There's some wheat there which will help with uh, breeding, basically, uh, to get the breeding cows trophy uh, or achievement, whatever. Uh, and ooh, glowing books I'm not sure the books work that was, that's one thing I need to look I'll do a, a little google search to find out how books work enchanted books uh, I know I think you have to make an enchanting table and you can open the book on the table if you know what I mean and I think when you open the book on the table, you can read the book and you learn its effects. I'm not sure. I don't know. That's what I've got to find out. Um, and that will be something else I will do in the next... I've got quite a bit planned for the next video. Uh, stuff that I'm doing in this one. This is why this is just kind of an update and a, a, a kind of commentary type uh, video where... Obviously, you can see that I'm doing stuff, and this is what's going to carry on into the next video. Actually, after I did this video, um, I, I played some more, and well, I did a bunch of stuff, really, I, I've got to be honest, that is kind of pointless now. <laughs> I did things around the village, which are kind of a bit pointless, so... Um, I think what I may do, I'm not sure, I think, I think what I may do is actually dismantle the old village, as in like, take the thing down, I might, it's not really worth it, is it, because if I hack down, whoops, bumping into stuff here, uh, if I hack down sort of the, uh, the thing that we do, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? The church. Yeah. Because it's been made by, with, but by, made with cobblestone. It's just going to turn into gravel, and gravel is just crap. Seriously, don't bother with gravel. If you happen to get some by accident, take it somewhere. Just drop it. Uh, drop it in some water so it sinks to the bottom of the lake because it's just so useless um, also as you may have seen I picked up three saddles that will come in handy when I try to do the that, that pig uh, trophy the one where you put a saddle onto a pig and then you ride him off a cliff or something like that uh, that will be fun <laughs> um, I mean generally you can go pretty close to animals uh, they won't run off or, or attack you really um, I did um, now I think it was in the first part of this video that I had to cut out completely um, <coughs> I found an ocelot which was rather exciting because I hadn't, hadn't seen one of those before in Minecraft, um, which that was another animal that pretty much all animals will run away, uh, except I think ocelots they will attack you if you attack them, and the same with wolves, wolves will attack you if you attack them, but otherwise, they will basically leave you alone. And according to it, you can tame. Was well, it you can tame tame wolves by using bones or something like that? Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that works. I might give that a try. Probably not in the next video because I've got too much planned already. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably one thing I'll try. Is I'll try and tame a wolf because if you tame a wolf. 
apparently they will fight for you as well. They will follow you and fight for you. Well, such as if I come across that spider. Uh, if I'd got a tamed wolf by me, uh, he would have attacked that spider for me, or at least helped me, you know. Uh, that's one thing you've got to be a bit careful of. I mean, if you've got a tamed wolf, and then a spider suddenly comes along and you start hacking away, trying to kill the spider, but you start hitting the wolf, that wolf is probably going to attack you, so... <laughs> you never know. So, uh, yeah, there's quite a bit planned for the next video. And speaking of the next video, well, I'm going to leave this video here. Um, I've done quite a bit in this. This has just been a bit of a catch-up. I'll be actually doing stuff and showing you more in the next video. If you've liked this video, please leave a like. Um, if you would like to see more, please subscribe so that you are notified of any more videos that I will upload. Um, but for now, I would like to thank you all for watching. I would like to bid you adieu. So please join me next time when I play more Minecraft. But for now, bye!